Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we are at Hollywood Studios and we're gonna have loads of fun today. So come on this adventure with us and let's get going. This video is a part of our Walt Disney World vacation series where we are going to have eight sit-down restaurant reviews for you and nine day vlogs. We visit all four parks at least twice, so we want you to enjoy this. Hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see more Walt Disney World videos. Now let's get on with our day. Good morning. It's Disney Day 3. Don't mind me and my throat. I'm not sick. It's just vlogger problems. I've been talking all day, every day, and my throat is kind of like, yeah, this morning. But I have a throat lozenge, and we're gonna tackle this day, cause we're going to one of my favorite parks. Well, Animal Kingdom was my favorite park yesterday, but Hollywood Studios. Star Wars, I love Star Wars. We're not gonna ride Rise of the Resistance. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm gonna let you know that right now. But um, we're still gonna have loads of fun today. James is gonna go on rock and roller coaster for the very first time, and we're gonna have a great day. It's 7.15, and Hollywood Studios early resort entry is at eight o'clock. And so that's where pretty much everyone's going at the moment. This is 7.35 in the morning. Early resort entry begins 30 minutes prior to park opening. Now, <clears throat> we got here at 7.30 and there's like loads of people in front of us already. Lots of people running by. We're not concerned. Um, we're taking it easy this morning. We're still very much into rope dropping. I strongly, highly recommend rope dropping. It means that you get an hour of golden time to ride things, but uh, everybody's going to rise the resistance for the most part. And since we are not interested in going to rise the resistance, we decided to take it a little easier. But I would get here to the park maybe about seven o'clock if you want to do rise the resistance or as early as possible. Tower of Terror for a while has been down to one elevator shaft, which means slow loading capacities and long waits at the Hollywood Tower Hotel. We're not super interested in Hollywood Tower Hotel either. We want to ride it, but it can be on Sunday when we come back. We have Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout at Disneyland, which we think is better. I love the, the new re-theme and upgrade for it. Um, so when we just rode it like two weeks ago and we're gonna be back at Disneyland on June 8th. So some of the rides that have overlaps are not high on our priority list. That doesn't mean you shouldn't prioritize them. Do what's best for you and your family. But like when we're at Magic Kingdom tomorrow, we're gonna to be doing the same thing. Because Magic Kingdom is like a carbon copy of Disneyland, we're going to be prioritizing the Magic Kingdom unique rides. And you know, if we're gonna to try to ride all of them, but if we don't, it's like, oh, well, we'll just catch it at Disneyland when we get back home. To my right is the rope drop line for Tower of Terror. And we're coming right here to the rope drop line for Rock and Roller Coaster. I said you have a dog on your head. I Did have you know a dog that? on my head. Did you know that? Yes. I forgot to mention that we grabbed a Slinky Dog Fast Pass first thing this morning. Lightning Lane. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. <laughs> I'm going to get used to these things. Well, we got it for, what, 8.30 or something? 8.35. So, yeah, right away. Right away. So after Rock and Roller Coaster, we're going to do Slinky Dog. Thanks for happy. Yep. I love how they do rope drop here. They have cast members leading the line, so it's at a nice leisurely pace. There is no running, pushing, shoving, or anything like that here at this park. Unlike Disneyland, which is like a mad free-for-all. <laughs> yeah. Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster. Well, we ended up right here in the, the loading room. We skipped the pre-show and everything. They were just moving so fast, I couldn't pull the camera out to, to film it at all. What do you think, buddy? Good! 
All right, are you a rock star? That says a rock star right there, and you are a rock star this morning. Rock and Roller Coaster was so empty first thing in the morning that we rode it twice. Now, we typically get a rider swap anyway, and we used it because my mom didn't feel like riding it after she learned out that it was quite jerky, so keep that in mind. Rock and Roller Coaster, I used her thing, but uh, literally the rider switch pass did mean nothing. Um, we Where it meets back up, I wouldn't have skipped anybody. So walk on first thing in the morning you can just ride it twice ride it three times some people there who are literally yeah just, just getting on again how they do that i've heard once so i'm like i can't do that james was really nervous the first time second time he loved it even more because now he wasn't nervous and now it's time for our slinky dog lightning lane sheriff woody on behalf of all the toys I'd like to give you a nice, big Andy's Backyard welcome. Now that we've scanned it for Slinky Dog Dash, we have to determine our next lightning lane. Uh, Toy Story Midway Mania is up to a 60 minute wait, and the lightning lane is available at 9.30, so we just went with that. Um, yeah. Mickey and Minnie's, uh, the fast pass, or lightning lane's already out to like 1 o'clock. Tower of Terror already out to 3 o'clock. But, um... I think we can stand by Mickey and Minnie's no problem at about a 30 minute wait. Tower of Terror is gonna have to wait till Sunday. This is your first time on Slinky Dog Dash. Are you excited? Yeah. You've got, let me see your shirt. You've got your Toy Story shirt. Oh look, and there's, there's Slinky Dog right there. Benji would like to hold my hand. Did you like it? Now we're gonna move to Alien Swirling Saucers. It says, oh, 55, never mind. How did it go up to 55? It was 15 like 10 minutes ago. Oh boy. Yeah, we're not gonna do that right now. Since Swirling Saucers was up to an hour wait, we came over here into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Amy ordered a breakfast Ronto wrap over here from Ronto Roasters, which is under this domed roof. And we also placed our mobile order for lunch. Yeah. It's only 9 a.m., but the mobile order for Woody's lunchbox already was up already up, up to 11. So, um, you know, if you're gonna go to Woody's lunchbox, put your mobile order in earlier on in the morning. Amy said she saw it at 10.15, like 10 minutes earlier, and it's already up to 11, so people are snagging them. So keep that in mind as a good helpful tip if you want to go to Woody's Lunchbox, which I highly recommend and you'll see the food. You'll see the food a little bit later in this video. Well, here is Amy's Ronto breakfast Ronto wrap. Now, uh, I'm not into to breakfast foods like egg and things. If you've heard me say that on earlier videos, I don't really do egg. Um, I've had the Ronto wrap here before, but I don't, um, not really big into the eggs. So Amy's gonna eat this. Are you gonna try it? No, I'm not, I'm good. Really? How is it? I don't know, I got with peanut and cheese. Oh, well, have a few more bites then. All right, Amy convinced me to try a bite. It's not bad. So I think I actually like the breakfast one. Hold it up higher. A little bit better than the regular one. I mean, I like the regular one, but I'm not a big coleslaw person, and the regular one has that like cabbage slaw. This, I don't mind eggs. It's got cheese on it, like lots of cheese. It's got um, like a sausage gravy, you know, kind of like if you get biscuits and gravy, and then the sausage, so I think it's really good. My opinion has changed on it, I think. Um, as long as I'm eating the big sausage piece and it's covered in cheese, that's okay. I think that if I ate the top portion that's mostly egg, I wouldn't like it, but the, um, the actual portion with the like sausage, that was very, very good, I admit. Our lightning lane for Toy Story Midway Mania is at 9.35, but you can check in five minutes early for lightning lanes. 
It is a 70 minute wait here at the moment. So I'm glad we have a lightning lane. Uno! Isn't this just the cutest little instructional video ever? I think that Disney World's Toy Story Midway Mania is themed much nicer in terms of cute and just so cute. Benjamin, how ready are you? Uh, He's so ready. Are you ready? Yeah. He's so ready. He's got his glasses on already. I'm going to be playing the game, not filming, so we'll catch you afterwards, guys. Alright, here we go. 279. All right, best score ever. That is the best score I have ever gotten on this ride. Barrel of monkeys. Toy Story Midway Mania is a hundred minute wait now. We have been meaning to do the Frozen sing-along celebration for quite a while. And every single time we come, we, we don't make it for whatever reason. And I hear it is the most awesome show ever, so we're going to come and do it. Now it is 10 o'clock and the next show is until 10.30, but we don't really have much else to do because a lot of the standbys are like 90 minute waits. So we're just going to come, stand, and wait for Frozen. But uh, we just checked, Rise of the Resistance is still closed. I think it's been closed since this morning. All the rides have a really, really long wait. Well, usually there's three hours worth of people standing in that standby line. So, um, yeah, it's it's making the rest of the park crowded. And then Toy Story Midway Mania, we just know this is broken, even though we just rode it. Rode it, yeah. Rid it? Rid it. Hollywood Studios welcomes you to, for the first time in forever, a Frozen sing-along celebration. I am Anna. Hi. Hi. Oh, hello. I'm honored to introduce to you the Arabella Royal Historian. I am Sir Eric and Oh, wait, 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 Did you just say Sir Eric? Sir Eric, that's what we, you mean. No, I was. I've, um, yeah, I've been going to night school. Oh, that's, a, that's a dad joke. Sorry. Okay, just Eric, it's your service. Oh, my, just Eric, everybody. Come on. <laughs> what? Uh, have any of you seen my sister? Um, she's about so tall, blonde, kind of keeps to herself. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's got these cool icy snow powers, like, pew, pew. No? Um, oh, I know. Hey, Elsa, do you want to build a snowman? Yeah, that never really works. Oh my, what are we going to do? And all the while, her sister Anna was dreaming of the possibilities of, wow, that is a mood, <laughs> of opening the castle gates for the first time in... You got it! Hey, Anna, what day is it? It's Coronation Day! <laughs> it's Coronation Day! <laughs> Hey guys, I am at home editing this Hollywood Studios video, and this Frozen show is absolutely hilarious, but it's also extremely long in the video. So if you want to see more of the, like, super fun jokes and everything, I'm going to take all of this footage, I'm going to put it at the very end of the video, and just leave little clips in right now. But if you want to see more of this totally awesome show, stick around to the end. A lot has transpired since Frozen. First off, first off, Frozen. <laughs> I loved it. Like, seriously, why have we not done that before? I don't know, because... I knew that we need to do it. He's like, oh, it's probably just some, you know, not very fun that show. That was amazing. I'm going to do it again later. If we have Even if you're like, oh, Frozen, that's so, no, like, you know, 2010. No, it's hysterical. It is hysterical, um, you know, definitely go do it. Uh, but, so we got, as soon as we got out of Frozen, I got an email saying that my I had been charged for Woody's Lunchbox. Well, that doesn't happen until after you've picked up your food, so I was really confused. And I checked and it said, you missed your time. And I was like, what do you mean I missed it? We're like, we, we were in Frozen. We, we booked it from 10.50 to 11.20 and it was 11.05 and it had been dinged me. 
so we got up here and we checked in with the, the lady and she said oh it says you didn't pick it up it's like well we never marked it yeah. as here and she says oh no problem don't worry uh we'll have them remake your order so they remade our order and it, everything was great if you have problems the, the rule number one is don't get upset rule number two is go find a guest services person and be nice and, and they sent us over yeah. actually to the restaurant. And so. um, and they will be able to help you, and they'll take care of it. Don't they'll worry they'll about make it, your it day. Wasted like one of our whole meals. But it was an app glitch, so yeah. it wasn't our fault. It was but Hans. It was Hans. It was Hans. 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 Um, anyway, basically everything was great. Um, now Woody's lunchbox. Yeah, we like Vultures kind of Fantastic the table. little place, but Terrible key keyword on the little. Because there's not a whole lot of space there. You can see here the footage that I took. Just not a lot of space. Uh, the seating is very limited. They have it roped off so that you ha you can't get in there unless you have an order. But there's still and, not enough tables yeah. for people. So orders. I didn't feel right filming while we were in there when we would have taken longer. So we just ate. I, I got a few. You know, I'll show you what we ate right now. We got some tachos. My mom got a, a turkey sandwich. Uh, Amy and I got a barbecue beef brisket sandwich and the kids got regular grilled cheese. We also got a raspberry tart and a banana peanut butter chocolate, chocolate type tart. Um, so that's what we got at Woody's Lunchbox. Like I said, fantastic place. Lightning Lane for 12 o'clock at Star Tours and then our Mickey and Minnie's is up at 1245. Those are our next two rides. And then after that, I think we're going to go to the pool. We have dinner at 430. I saw. 4.30? Yeah, 4.30 okay. is Bastion's, but it's at our resort. At our resort. So. Star Tours, da da da, Star Tours, da da da, Star Tours. My favorite part about Star Tours here in Walt Disney World is this giant AT-AT. Now I know a lot of people call it an AT-AT, but I can never bring myself to call it an AT-AT. We call it an AT-ST, why not an AT-AT? <laughs> We can't take off. The captain isn't on board. Auto takeoff sequence initiated. <laughs> Stop right there. Don't shoot. I know you have a spy on board. I'm afraid there's been a terrible mistake. They're a spy and a traitor to the first order. I've never seen that human before. Thank What did you think, Benjamin? Sometimes uh, we're not sure. Benjamin can be scared on it, but this time he had a great time. Well, I wasn't the rebel spy, though I want to be the rebel spy sometime. I was at least on the screen, because the lady behind me was the rebel spy, and my head from like here up was also the rebel spy. So I'm gonna count it. We have 20 more minutes until our lightning lane for Mickey and Minnie's. So we're gonna come over here to Muppet Vision 3D. We grabbed a lightning lane for it, not that we needed it. This is a 10 minute wait, but we're gonna use it because, well, we booked it, of course. Attention, please. Um, excuse me. Uh, um. <laughs> For the big water skiing finale. It is finally time for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I cannot wait till we get this ride at Disneyland. Coming soon. Ours is going to be better. They're adding, they said they were adding special effects or something to Disneyland. Cool. Hey, Mickey, Mickey. Slush number four for our Walt Disney World trip is a strawberry lemonade slushy from the ABC Commissary. So here we go. Yeah, strawberry Woo! <clears throat> mm. 
That's tart. Very, very tart. I'm spicing up. You know, I'm still getting slushes, but they're not all frozen cooks this time. Now they're different flavors, because I'm trying different things. So, being adventurous. This kid in strawberries. He's going to town with a strawberry slush. Is it good? Yeah. Now is a great time to remind you that if you have not done so yet, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. Let YouTube know that you enjoy this content and that others might enjoy it as well. Right now, we are going to go back to the Caribbean beach to enjoy some pool time. We're going to have Sebastian's dinner, so you'll see a little bit of that dinner and a full review of Sebastian's in a different video. And then after that, we will be coming back into Hollywood Studios this evening for some more rides and fun. Stick around. Well, now we are heading to the pool. 2.45 in the afternoon, and uh, that sun is bright and hot. So, of course, Got some sunscreen, because I burn like a lobster, really bad. And uh, Amy said that <laughs> she, we were only out here in the sun for an hour at the pool yesterday, and she's already got tan lines from her bathing suit. She's like, oh no. I don't know, she doesn't like getting darker. Most people like to get tans and things, but. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah. Do you like the water? You did it! Yeah. Oh, he's doing his trick where he spins again. Your spinning trick, very nice. Oh, you got me wet. You got me, got me wet, Benjamin. <laughs> Is that fun? I managed to get a life vest for James. It's an extra small, not a, a regular small, so it's really, really small, but it uh, loosened enough that it'll fit him at least. Over here off to the side here, the, the lady's telling us they've got a Mickey tie-dye t-shirt thing going on. Eighteen dollars. And we have all the rest of the sizes from adult small to 3XL. And we have pillowcases as well. Pillowcases are going to be $10 and t-shirts are 18 once again. If you didn't catch that, they said that they're doing Mickey tie-dye over here. Uh, right outside of the pool area. I mean, we're inside the pool still, but like, you know, just to the side of the pool. Now there's James. Do you like it? Come here, hold my hand, hold my hand. Do you like it? I want to do that again. You want to do that again? <laughs> what uh, was that? After all of that, he was throwing a big fuss up at the top. I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. Now he did it and he's like, yeah, let's do it again. You waiting for the green light? Alright, green light, go! Yes! You can get me wet! Did I get you wet? It is 6.30 in the evening now and we're headed back to Disney's Hollywood Studios. It is 91 degrees at 6.30 and that sun is hot. Blazing hot. We are going to freeze when we go back to San Diego. Crossroads of the world. <laughs> oh, look, bubbles. <laughs> well, there's not really a sign for what we came to go do, but uh, Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy is in the far, far back corner of the park behind Rock and Roller Coaster. And uh, it's in this, yeah, pretty nondescript looking building here. Um, but they said it's about to start in one minute. Trucks and vans, trucks and vans. Welcome to Lightning Queen's Racing Academy. Hey, it's Max. 
back. The Harry the pig. Here's a story of a car. This is Cup Race here, rookie star. End of the season went that far to a crazy three way tie. Everybody say, hey, go! When we were leaving the park earlier today, we grabbed a lightning lane for smugglers and it was all the way out at 7.30. Of course, now we didn't care because we were leaving the park for like four hours. Uh, but that 7.30 now is very nearly here. So we're headed over all the way on the other side of the park to ride Smuggler's Run. There's nothing quite like walking by somebody who is experiencing Star Wars Galaxy's Edge for the very first time. I just heard a guy as we came in, he was like, Wow, this is unbelievable. And it's like, yes, I just got tingles like repeating it <laughs> because, you know, that feeling, trying to imagine myself in that place all over again. Oh. For me, it was, I feel like, more the first time we walked into Pandora. Yeah. Because the floating lanterns and stuff. It was like, wow. Islands? Yeah. Floating lanterns are oh. tangled. <laughs> See, that was one of your moms. Islands. Anyway, let's go do smugglers. Yes. I mean, come on. Look at that. Millennium Falcon. Oh, I love it every time. This is Hello, hello, my friends. I am Hongo Omaka, and this is Omaka Transport Solutions. All right, we're all on, it's kind of dark, but uh, James and I are piloting, Benjamin and Amy are gunners. And we're just sitting here in our cockpit. Oh, here we go. Automatic repair engaged. Whoa! <laughs> of course, I had to pilot the Millennium Falcon today, wearing my Millennium Falcon shirt. And, uh, <laughs> well, we didn't crash. That's something, right? It is approximately 7.50. The sun sets at 8.15 and Slinky Dog Dash has a 55 minute wait. So we're going to hope by hopping in line now, we can see it in the dark and still get to ride our fast pass with swirling saucers. What I'm really going to be bummed about is if this is like a 20 minute wait instead of 55, it's not going to be dark yet. And that's what the whole point is. <laughs> I said if it's only like 20 minutes instead of 55. If it's 20 minutes, we're hopping in again. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I just want to ride it when it's dark, you know? <laughs> it's 8.20 and we're up next. At least the sun has set. It's not dark, but it's at least darker. Official time was 28. It was posted at 55. Look, Slinky's in the pocket. Think James. Good. We can get not working. Oh no. No Wheezy. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. I'm just helping it out. Well, it's time for alien swirling saucers. Now you remember that 55 minute wait that we had to avoid earlier? It's only five now when we have our fast pass or our lightning lane. <laughs> Okay, you want to ride with me, Benjamin? All right, put your wrist right here. Go bling bling. Benjamin, can you hold my hand? I'm scared.
But now it's completely dark. And we're in Andy's backyard. Definitely, definitely worth hanging out in Hollywood Studios until it gets dark. The park closes at 9, and at this time of year, it gets dark at about 8.30 to 8.40. Like this dark, it's 8.45 right now. Hang on, Rex! I got you, partner! <laughs> Perhaps the coolest part about Hollywood Studios in the dark, this right here, Hollywood Tower Hotel projections. Way up at the very top, they've got people like dancing in the ballroom. Did you see people dancing? Slurpee number five, Hollywood Tower Hotel in the background. All right. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner and Disney's Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. I'm sorry if this is like the fourth time you've seen this, but it never gets old. And yes, that means we are once again out for an evening jaunt throughout the Caribbean beach. There's like literally nobody in here right now, but they do have a little spot to uh, watch movies. It's probably because I have no idea what that movie is. Huh? Cadet Kelly? What's Cadet Kelly? Our stroll this evening takes us over to the Riviera Resort. We're gonna hop on the Skyliner and just get a nice aerial view of the Caribbean beach at night. But to do that, we just decided we'd take a little walk over here and this is the Riviera's pool. That's their kids pool. And then their adult slide is up there. It is a very nice looking resort. It's just, uh, very expensive. Say bon voyage to the Mediterranean. We are about to go island hopping at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. In just a few moments, we will be landing at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Well, that is it for our Hollywood Studios day. For the next 12 minutes, please enjoy the Frozen show. I kid you not, it's 12 minutes long. Please watch it. It's hilarious. <laughs> you won't regret it. It was a tale as old as time. No, it wasn't that either. That's across the street. Yes, the dance was spoons there. That's funny. And if you have never met a troll before, consider yourself lucky. Because these are mischievous creatures with strange magic. I am not a fan of them because they wouldn't let me join their band. Their rock band. <laughs> Dad joke number two. More to come. And also forwards our story to the best day ever. Monday. Close coronation. Coronations are my favorite flowers. Yay! Well, several years had passed and it was finally time for Elsa to take the crown. She stole the crown, $3.99. Okay. No, she didn't bring it back for her. Call the boat. Oh, coming back. Oh, what are you jumping over? What is that? It's just a tiny little rock. Oh, it's but I don't so wanna, tiny, I don't but you have to jump over. Is it yeah. good? Wait, where is the rock exactly? Right here. Okay, can I see it again? The jump? Yeah. Oh, you got real close to it. Try it again. Okay, okay. You're scaring it. Okay, one more time, one more time. Okay, I hope you learned your lesson. Hey, did you sleep through all of Arendelle History 101? I majored in theater history. How's that going? Not great. Okay. <laughs> and all the while, her sister Anna was dreaming of the possibilities of, wow, that is a mood, <laughs> of opening the castle gates for the first time in... You got it! Hey, Anna, what day is it? It's Coronation Day. 
<laughs> it's Coronation Day! <laughs> Dreaming. Tom Holland? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wish. I'm talking about Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. Oh, shush, shush. oh no. Oh no, he's got me in his web. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, look, I'm in the palm of his heart. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I feel like a tiny little lady. Come on. Home the coast of town again. Oh no, the jewelry box is closing. Thank goodness. Okay, I do not like this guy, and it looks like his horse is cosplaying as a zebra. What is this? <laughs> Said that already. And I'm gonna say it again, cause the dude is dreamy, am I right? Yeah. Oh, he's right behind me. <gasps> Turn around every now and then, Prince Hans is behind me, and look, I can see up his nose. <laughs> what do you see up there? Tom Holland. Really? <laughs> and Andrew Garfield. What? And Toby McGuire. What? <laughs> the multiverse is in his sinuses. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Well, no, no, there's no way home from there. What? Oh, okay. It was coronation day. All the citizens of Arendelle and dignitaries from kingdoms from all over the place. They came to witness the royal coronation. Yes, and Elsa was able to hide her powers and be sworn in as Queen of Arendelle. Yes, Queen, and then they party! Uh, I put some pants, I put some pants, what's that dance, what's that dance? Go, Eric. Hey, hey, go, Eric. Woo! How long can he go? Oh, no. How long can he go? On that leg and toes, how long can he go? Backflip! Woo! Soik! And they had chocolate. The sister's favorite food. Wait, I love chocolate. I love chocolate. Who loves chocolate? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, everybody, get excited. Look under your chairs. There's nothing there. <laughs> oh, okay. And if there is, do not eat it. No. Chances are, that's not chocolate. It's not chocolate. <laughs> I've made that mistake before. Okay. Um, this is awkward for everybody. Mostly for you. Mostly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but, but not as awkward as it was between these sisters. I mean, they never see each other anymore, but it seemed like maybe that was about to change. And then Prince Hans came back and they danced a night away. Right now I have to use Hans sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> before you do it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a sarcastic of <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Another question. Don't you love true love? I do, but this isn't it. They just met each other. <laughs> As a wise woman once said, love is an open door. Love is a secondhand emotion. All right. emotion. <laughs> okay, can I just say something crazy? Causing her to throw ice all across the ballroom. Who called her a witch, yeah. a sorcerer. Yeah. She impaled somebody right in the spleen. Oh no, my spleen's impaled. Help me. Oh, oh spleen. no, when you're impaled in the spleen, you turn into a Scottish man. This is terrible. Oh no, she done killed me. <laughs> okay, that didn't happen. It's on the bonus spleen. No, it's not. It's a deleted spleen. Stop. <laughs> That's true, people were very afraid. Look at how afraid these people are. This guy, this guy scared all his teeth out. Come on. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna shoot my haggis. <laughs> okay, but you know who's even more scared than these people? Queen Elsa. Yes. I mean, despite honest pleading, she ran away just like his teeth across the fjord of Arendel, freezing it in the process. Queen was our beautiful kingdom, sending it into a dark, cold curse. No, Arya, it was beyond cold. Oh, yeah. It was. Sure, but yeah. maybe you can do me a favor and sure. just keep an eye out for her. Yes, yes. righty old reindeer king, we got you. Oh. Um, thanks again, but it's just Kristoff. Christopher, I'm sorry, I got it, yeah. Kristoff. Christopher. Yes. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> just Kristoff. Hutan. What? Hutan. <laughs> not all that close, but oh, to tell you the truth, neither was that story I what? heard, because he kind of skipped over the part where I helped Anna a lot, I'm not sure she would have made it to the North Mountain without my help. Oh my goodness, okay, that is adorable, but Kristoff, come on, we all know you like her, right? <laughs> no. Alright, with that 
had nothing to do with it. There was a blizzard. Oh. And there was ice everywhere. And I sell ice. Okay, what's, what's happening? Oh, that's my love machine. I'll see you in Daytona. You know, I'll be the one in the cutoff shorts. But not too short, because nobody should see any anywhere above there. It's just, it's not good. I don't work out and I don't even care. Look, I had to help Anna to save my business. Oh, you just keep telling yourself that crouton. We know what's going on. You were not enough. newly lacquered sled in the process because the sled exploded, just like sleds do all the time for no particular reason. So they walked. And then they came across this beautiful glen that was very romantic. That's when the true hero of our story enters the picture, an awesome talking snowman named... Oh. Yes! He loves warm hugs in summer. A snowman who loves the summertime. How can you not love this guy? He's the best. Oh. Summer. Oh, I don't know why, but I've always loved the idea of summer and sun and all things hot. Really? I'm guessing you don't have much experience with heat. Nope. What? You gotta hurry up and finish that. Okay, double time. Yeah, okay, I'll go first. Um, Olaf, Amistad, and Kristoff make their way up to Elsa's castle on the North Mountain. Elsa tells Mama to go away, and then she freezes her heart. Uh, accidentally. When she learns of Arendelle's fate. She sends Marshmallow after them, uh, and Kristoff and Anna almost die jumping off of a cliff, but the snow softened their fall. We learned that Olaf has no skull and no bones. <gasps> I don't have a skull. Or bones. Wow. <laughs> Anna's hair starts to turn white, so Kristoff takes her to see the love expert. Patrols, but it was too late. Anna was getting colder by the minute, and as Poppy said, <gasps> Only an act of true love can thaw a frozen heart. Wait, he's British? Yeah, he's a rolling stone. <laughs> so they bring stuff to Arendelle to find Hans, so he can melt Anna's heart with true love's care. Let's see true love. While all of this is going on, Hans is leading a group of men up the mountain and then he captures Elsa. That's not cool. Yeah, but Kristoff gets on it, Hans, and yep. he leads in to kiss her and save the day. When he laughs in her face. When he laughs in her what? Wait, Hans is the bad guy? Yes! He leaves <laughs> Anna in a cold room to freeze to death so he can take over the kingdom. Wait, Hans is the bad guy? Yes! Yeah. Did you sleep through Arendelle History 101? It was virtually school to get freezing! Yeah, well, well, Elsa escapes her prison and she's running across the fjord with Hans in hot pursuit and Olaf goes to Anna's rescue. Oh, Olaf convinces Anna that Kristoff and not Hans is her true love. Now Anna's out on the frozen fjord and she's running towards Kristoff. <laughs> well, she's shuffling. Brr, freeze, it's hard to run in boots. And she sees Hans about to kill her sister. <gasps> Who has a migraine? Oh, no. Does she save herself? Does she save her sister? What did she do? What did she do? Eric, what did she do? I didn't read this part. You tell him what happened. I'm going to fight Hans. Okay, somebody look this up on the internet. Oh. No. Wait, no, Olaf saves the day. Wait, what? Olaf stops Hans. He kicks him in the sideburns. Okay. And then he kisses Anna. Um, everybody lives happily ever after because <gasps> some, some people are worth, worth melting for. The yeah. end. The crowd goes wild. Thank you, everybody. Oh, yeah. Thanks so much. That was a very good story you told, although the ending felt um, a little strange. You're welcome. Oh, thank you all for coming out. Enjoy the rest of your day for the Kingdom of Hollywood!